All right, Twitter. I have never actually ran you through my gaming room. So, little Atari console. Drop down the wee Nintendo, I was about to say Super Nintendo, Box Nintendo, wee DS. Drop down the Mega Drive. Couple of games. Name is Super Nintendo. Oh yes, I gotta be Zelda. Then down at the bottom, Sega Saturn. Then we come across Prestige Edition of Ghosts, Call of Duty. Prestige Edition of MW. No, what was that? Black Ops Two. All right, the record rotor. Up in the World of War. Some of the art stuff, NW3, Black Ops 1 Prestige Edition, the wee car, NW2, Night Vision Goggles, and then the box and Black Ops, and then we come across, some Battlefield Carry On, Thinky Dog Tag, and the I Was There Dog Tag, even though I wasn't there, and then just the boxes. Battlefield 3, Claymore thing, bottom shelf empty, and just a wee Battlefield 4 job out. And that's just PC games down the bottom there, a couple of wee classics. Now this was, it was in Battlefield 3, it's the Claymore edition. I don't think it's actually ah, it is, there's batteries on it. And then this went around your PS3, surrounded it all. And then you're in the big fat PS4. PS2, PS2 Slim, two PlayStations, there's actually one in that box. Then we're through the Ghosts, Beast from MW2, but moving house two, three times, this thing has took a wee bit of a pattern, getting it stripped down and put back up and stripped down. It's harsh, the detail on this thing's amazing, there was only 50 of these ever made. I was lucky enough to get my hands on one, but this cost a quarter a bit of money. And he's a beast. Obviously a wee zombie at his feet. And just some pictures and stuff I just haven't got around to putting up. Paul in the corner, wee alien. Remember so he's a predator. Another thing that cost an absolute fortune. Love that movie. I would love to buy more predator stuff, but the cost of it is just unbelievable. Terminator Salvation, down into some aliens, little Ripley fighting off, that's just a TV, shouldn't be there, scoff controller that I've broke about a year ago and still haven't got around to getting fixed, so I'm playing with this until I get it fixed and you get my ass in the gear, and that's what was over here, all the Steelbrooks, every battlefield that has been, uh, World War One binoculars sitting there, you can't really see. We Skullhead, PlayStation camera for streaming, NW2 hardened edition, and all the steelbooks, all the cards. I haven't really stopped, I haven't really been buying much more of them. And then drop down into some Titanfall, uh, Kill Zone when it was kicking about back in the day. And some art stuff. I still need to buy the artwork of Battlefield 5 or V. Some Star Wars stuff because what gaming room isn't complete without some Star Wars stuff. And then you're just in the games PlayStation 1, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, a lot of PlayStation 1, up into PlayStation 2, all the way up. More pictures on the dirt that just haven't been hung. <laughs> This is the reason why, like Battlefield 1, we got this, it's a beast. Battlefield 3, you got the Claymore edition. I'm not too sure if there was anything for BF4, I could never find anything worth collecting anyway. BF5, I was pretty pissed, I had to get some sort of digital download. But GameStop are selling like a wee skier dude. So it comes in this box, and then this box opens up and a smaller box comes out. <laughs> um, this wee thing, as detailed as it is, 
is the size of my finger. And that's it. That's all there is for BF5. Like, look. Now I have to excuse all the paint in my hands. Work calls. Alright. That's a wee glimpse of my wee room. It's peace.